Welcome everyone to Immortal Unchained. So we're going to find all the armor shrines and all of the protocols. But first, just like to give you a heads up, I don't show you all locations of the Prometheums, if I even said that right. But um, yeah, we have to find two, but I'll show you the location of three. But there is, I believe I found seven, eight of them. But we don't need them all. Just is pointless having them really uh, and then the decree we need at least 30 these are i would say they're not hard to find just look in every chest um that's where they're mainly located um so yeah let's get to it so i'm um, literally after i uploaded the video they updated the game and rechanged the format for the core so i have to redo it so the first armor shrine is now located in the vault entrance this is part of the story you'll literally go right past it just a FYI for you guys, this shrine is located in the core, but this shrine does not count. This is just a shrine from the previous update. I'm keeping it in here just in case. So this one does not count towards anything because it doesn't exist no more. I'm just being extra safe. Also, I'd like to let you guys and girls know that I'm playing this on a new game plus. So I have started from the beginning and we will together proceed on or progress through the story together during this video. And everything you'll find should be in the order that I found them and hopefully in a sensible order as well. So I'll try to minimize backtracking as much as I can. So the Armour Shrine 2, this is in Planet Arden or Eden, whatever you call it. But anyway, once again, this is all part of the story. So you go up these stairs, you'll find a locked door to the left if you go right, you will find the armor shrine located here. Also, a big hint of where the armor shrines are or the obelisk are, you'll find like big wire looking cables in the area. Trust me, you'll definitely see them. So in the uh, the same planet, but this time the waypoint is called Overlook. So you have to come through his part of the story. Be careful of the sniper to the right. You can go either way, you can go across the so-called walkway or go to the left path where the water is if you go this way you will find the amendment or armament protocol you know what i'm just not even going to pronounce any of these because i won't get it right but anyway this will be your first protocol just before the boss fight so starting from the same waypoint again because i literally added that a few minutes ago because I've got to. So from you are, well from where you are, just stay where you are. Because there is another way you can get up. I think. So go across this bridge here. Fight some bad guys. Go the only way you can go, making sure you look around for these uh, decrees. You have to do it. So that's where the um, protocol we just literally got. There should be a ladder near you. If that ladder is not drawn down, so I'm afraid you have to go back. And go the way I'm going. So once again, I'm showing you that that's where the protocol is. So you come up these stairs. I should have done it from the last protocol, but I didn't. So this is a long track, so this time I should go upstairs, go across this way here and go left. And you'll find the armor shrine. Also, if you want to, um, you can unlock the door to the right if you got, I believe, one decree. Shrine 4. This is now the jungle area, so the waypoint would be called the hidden cave. So I'd try my best to spawn at every waypoint, instead of like spawning in the middle of nowhere. Because this game can get confusing where to go. It's, I wouldn't say it's that confusing, it all leads to the same place. But if you're not very really good at knowing where you are, then you might struggle. The reason why I went to the waypoint. Anyway, once you killed a lot of bad guys, these can really mess your world up if you're playing from the very, very beginning. But once again, this armor shrine is located pretty much on your path to the next section. So yeah, this one's not hard to find. And like I said, um, if you see some of these power cable looking things sticking around everywhere, this is where an armor shrine is located or an obelisk. So once we get to the term waypoint called Ruined Village. Ruined. 
So this will be a uh, gem mini, I think, called uh, Protator. So this will be located in here. So I've just realized what I've done there. Um, you won't get this waypoint just yet because um, you'll find out why. So once you come from the last area, you'll come through here and go up here. So that's kind of out of order, but I've done it by the waypoint. So if people have already done this level and uh, have already got the waypoint, so that's where they can go. But, but either way, you know where it is now anyway. So once we go upstairs, well upstairs, up the ramp, kill the bad guys, and then climb the ladder to the far right here. But either way, make sure you get that protocol because that's right next to a boss. So once you go up, and there's your next armor shrine. So I believe from armor shrine one to nine, we can get these before the combat area in the main hall. I'm not saying much of it, but yeah. So still in the um, the forest looking area, this time we're in overgrowth. You are, I think you'll need two or three decree to get through that door. It's optional, we don't have to. So go up the tree here, or the pathway. There have a pathway going left or right. If you go left, there will be a, another waypoint. So that'd be good if you need to unlock it. And now if you go right, this is where you'll find the armor. This one, I would say, this one's not really on the story progression path, so you can actually go two ways that both lead the same way, so you could, in theory, miss this one. So once you drop down, take a sharp left, find the armor shrine. It's number two, not number two, sorry, number six. Number seven. Once we get to the next waypoint, go through the door here, head up the stairs. Just want to give you a heads up, if you go through the crack in the wall, there is a chest containing one of the, the decree as well. You're welcome. Moving on. I don't remember where every decree is, I'm just telling you pre -oakly. Pre... is it pre something? Ah, oh, I don't know. I'm giving up. Move on. So once you get here, um... Once again, technically, both lead the same way, but if you go left first, we can find the armor shrine, and we can find one of the protocol. This one's quite well hidden, you don't have to go this way, so you can easily miss it. And may never find it. So go through here, ignore the door to the right, go left. And what looks like a dead end, go through the bushes. And then you'll find the next one. So in here will be the next protocol. Of course we need that. Once again we see the power cable looking things. Once we go through you want to drop down and claim the armor shrine. So now we're in the third world. I'm going to call it the third world because I went from the snow, jungle, and now this one. So this is the third world to me. This could be your first. So as soon as you enter this world, you want to stay to the right hand side. You can go left, once again, both lead the same way, but if you go right, you'll find this one. So there's no wrong way. Just the wrong way to the armor shrine. So if you drop down, kill any minute enemies that come your way, and you'll find the armor shrine just to the right. And it's quite near the uh, obelisk as well, called Cliff Edge. And ta-da! So this will be the Waypoint Broken Bridge. So this will be the last armor shrine we can get before the, the fight in the main hall. So once we go to this Ma I want to say massive, like a massive stairs going up. 
first set of stairs, go right and drop down. I think you drop down, yep, you do. And find the number nine armor shrine. So now we're going to this scarab protocol one. So once you have dealt with the, um, the boss in this area, if you go around the back here where you came down the stairs to actually encounter the boss fight, you will find a lovely chest here containing the scarab protocol. So now we have the ability now to actually unlock shrines or unlock waypoints. So make sure you buy them so it saves us from backtracking or saves a lot bigger issue for backtracking. So from the warehouse waypoint, go up the stairs, go across the walkway, go for the first door to the left and go up the stairs. And just keep going till you find the dead end that has this armor shrine. So we're now in the catacombs. Once we proceed on, uh, I think you will originally come from the right side, then come up here. If you want to go to the right, you should actually see this one glittering in the side, but this one is also miserable. So yeah, make sure to grab it. So we're going to start from the same location of the armor shrine, but the quicker method is to go to the waypoint called the prison and go left, and you'll just see it on the right side. But since it's not that far away, we may as well do it from the last location. There's really not much to say here, so just keep following the video. There we go, there are the power cables. Very close to that, you'll find your armor shrine. This is very close to the uh, prison waypoint. And there we go. So now we're actually at the prison waypoint. So um, here we go, we're gonna find two of these uh, important things to pick up, because they're near enough together. We need them to get in some doors. So as soon as you leave the prison, go right. Open the chest to the right as well. Of course, you'll keep opening chests anyway because we need to. And there we go. That's the first one. And the second one is very close by. So from the, from the last location, go towards the uh, open gate. Go to the left. You'll find a very small box or chest. And open that to find your second one. So in theory now, we don't need to find any more of these. But also, I do encourage you to keep on searching for these decrees. We need 30. They won't be in a random place that are in set locations. So now we're still on the prison waypoint. Go inside. And there is the next one. That'll be number three. Armor Shrine number 13. So once you're in the same planet, this will be the waypoint that we will literally go past as part of the story. But this door to the right here will be locked. So if you've got enough stuff to unlock, you can do. So this will be the waypoint that I'm going to provide you with. Also, this is the same area as the, the Narthrax waypoint in the same area. So once we head up the stairs, we will find the armor shrine located directly in front of you. Can't miss it. Then go this way to proceed on once you grabbed it. So now eventually we're on the final waypoint now of this area to fight the boss. Not sure why I'm showing this bit, but uh, once you kill the boss, grab the chest that she or he drops to find your cryo protocol.
armor shrine number 14. So once we get to the waypoint called the Ruined Temple, literally right next to this temple, uh, well not temple, but the obelisk, we'll find the armor shrine. This one's not too hard to find, just look in the left side once you get into this area. So for the next one, we're going to find the Hailstone Protocol and we're going to find the Armor Shrine. I could have done this in the Lava Fields waypoint, but um, since we go in the same direction, there's no point. There's no point showing you the location for the Lava Field and have to backtrack slightly. So either checkpoint will work fine. So we're just basically going through the story progression, nothing special going on here. So once you enter this area, there are three locations you can go. You can go right, that leads you to another planet. You can go left, that leads you to a locked door. Or you can go straight on, that leads you to the lava fields. So now, go left, open his door, hopefully have enough stuff, now we can enter. Making sure you are still finding these decrees. Like I said, they are not difficult to find if you use your peepers. So once we've killed the boss, it's not part of the main game, so I'm going to call him a mini boss. Once you check in the chest that he drops, he will find, or you will find the Hellstone, and in the same location, we will find the Armor Shrine. So now we're going to move on to the Lava Field. So once we leave the door, go left. Once you enter the Armor Field, Armor Field, the Lava Field, now we just once again carry on with the story. You should see the um, armor shrine from a distance. Now just carry on on straight and stay to the right. So before going left to the magma field or magma lake I think it's called. Waypoint if you go right and grab this armor shrine. Now what you want to do is carry on up the uh, cliff side and keep going till you get inside the massive area with lava everywhere. Of course this area's got lava too. But yeah. This is the underground lava. So that's the door we need to go in. Well, no, we don't actually. That's an optional door. You don't have to go in that door. You can if you want to, but I recommend it because you get a decree in that door. That's why I've shown it. Just now ticked. My brain's working, folks. My brain is working. Sometimes. It never works, but on occasion it does. So in this area here, this can be a pain in the ass because there'll be, I believe, two to three teleporters or summoners, resurrectors. So once you come down here, this one is quite off the beaten path and it can be a pain in the bum bum. Real pain in the bum bum. So once you get down here, please make sure uh, that you kill every enemy above because if you leave a resurrector alive above, he will keep spawning this boss, and it's, it won't be happy time for you. Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Boom headshot! So once we have defeated the boss, the mini boss, of course, like you see, you see a decree, and the little numb jobs of the resurrector spawn this boss again. And that means he locked the door behind us. So yeah, grab the armor shrine before moving on. So now this will be the boss area. And the only thing we're going to grab here is a, um, a phantom protocol. Once again, it's part of the story. You can't really miss it, but I'm going to put it in anyway, just in case. Just in case someone whines or anything like that, just in case. You never know. You never know. So that's where the phantom thingy bell bob is. Great description there, Plasma. Great, 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 great description. So Armor Shrine 18. So now we go to the final world. Well, that I call the final world. Once you figure out how to get here, it will be quite a long time. It seems forever, trust me, getting here. Uh, once you go to well, stay to the right, Try to stay to the right as possible. You'll find a waypoint and an armor shrine. 
a big hint as well. Um, it leads outside. If you go outside without collecting an armor shrine, go back in and then go left. That's probably a good sums up description there. Um, like a, um, an ink and poop, I didn't start from the last location. So once you leave the door, so once you come outside, go up to the second floor, stay on the second floor to find an armor shrine. Now, eventually we will reach the very top of the tower like thing, building. Once we come in here, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, there's a little boy here to the left. He will ask you to, to destroy the chains. This is optional, you don't have to do it. So go inside the door here. This is where we're located at. Okay, there's two ways. You can go left or you can go straight along. If for some reason you've fallen down, I will show you at the end of this clip anyway. There is a way to get back up, so don't worry. So take your time going over, because I didn't realise you can actually go over there. This is my first time figuring this out. And at the very end here, you will find the armor shrine number 20. So this clip does play on a bit longer, because I'm going to show you. There's always a reason behind my madness. Always a reason. So if you happen to fall down, that's the door that we come through if you go from the top location. If you fall down, go to the back of this room and go to the door to the right at the back. See? Very easy. Uh, so shortly after, you'll find the child once again, the demon child. So go from the last location. The correct way to go is to the left. There will be quite a few big guys so you can go right or straight. They will both lead you to the same direction. So it makes you go around a big massive circle. I won't say massive, but big enough. But eventually you'll find your armor shrine. And my voice has got deep for some reason. I'm a man. But yeah, anyway, you will find the armor shrine. Oh damn, that has got deep. Hello, ladies. So for this one, this is pretty close to where the last location was. Eventually, after going through quite a few bits of narrow walkways, you'll go into this square section here that opens up slightly. There will be a door to the right. Go up the stairs. The first small crate you'll find your next one if you really want to grab it. It's pointless. Absolutely pointless. At this point. So we're now going to get the skeleton protocol. So this is required um, for many things. Many great things. Um, I can't actually show you the location because the door's locked. So once you get in this area here, kill the boss and grab the chest. You can probably miss it if you don't grab it, so make sure you grab that damn chest when you kill the boss. Thank you. So now, go down here. You have probably already seen this door and you couldn't get into. So now we have got 18 degree and one gun key. We can now enter. My dear Dr. Grant, welcome to Jurassic Park. So once you go in, you'll find the echo of the Malog, whatever his name is. Jump down, be a man, kill him, grab the armor shine, get the hell out of Dodge. So this is now pretty much backtracking time. Now since we got 30 decree, hopefully you guys have, you can find over 30 in this game, so not to worry. Don't panic. So start from the Forgotten Ruins, go through the secret magical bush that is located in between the girl's legs. And then carry on. Once you go through, drop down and go right and go straight. Just go straight line. Once you find the next route, there'll be a right or left. You have probably most likely 100% found this door already, but couldn't enter it. But now, since we've got 30 of these, little buggers we can now go in so just um, this room is quite entertaining if you want to look through all the um, the pods in this area they give you a brief description they may say some random stuff funny stuff and um, all of the above so as soon as you come in this room is pretty this is a pointless room I'm not saying a bad way it's just a pointless room all there is is a chest in the middle and some pods around other than that you can get the hell out of here So, Armour Shrine 23. 
This armor shrine is automatically given to you so you don't have to buy it to fast travel. So go back into the world of the unknown. And the first door to the right will be locked. You have 100% gone past the door already. You just can't enter it until now. So in this area here, we will find an armor shrine located directly in front of us. And there we go. I would recommend actually looking um, behind you in the next room. There's some entertaining things. Well, I thought anyway. If you don't like it, then um, F you, okay? F you, buddy. I love you guys, really. Moving on. So from the last location, we're now going through the portal that we came through. I hope you got your big boy guns to fight this boss. This boss can be a pain in the butt. Well, mini boss, not really a boss. So carry on, go up the stairs. Keep going up the stairs. If you really want to, you can go to the waypoint called Warehouse. This will be a close location, but since these are pretty close together, I don't from the last location, but this is up to you. All up to you. So just head directly straight. Also, this area in front of us, you have maybe, I say maybe, quote unquote, you might have gone through this door already. This has, I believe, three different protocols. Don't ask me what they are, because I can't remember. I think it's either three or two, and some decree. So once you go down the stairs, into the fascinating abyss, soul furnace area, the first door will, will require a cryo and some decree. So once you enter, there will be a boss that you've already faced him before. And yes, move on. So go over, so be a man, or woman, whatever kind you are, and grab the armor shrine. So once you kill the badass Iska boss again, the Echor, we're now going to grab the Chromatic Protocol. So once again, we need this one, and why am I standing still for so long? Why haven't I edited this out? Move on. So once you grab it, make sure you grab the armor shrine and grab the chest. I believe you can come back if you somehow missed the chest. I don't know how, because it gives you a damn cutscene. So now we're back in the area called the Narthrax. Oh, I'm going to call it the Narthrax. I don't care if I'm wrong, I'm going to say it. It's 100% probably wrong. It just sounds cool in my head right now. So once you spawn at the waypoint, go up the ladder to your left if you're looking directly at the obsolete. And we are pretty much backtracking. We are backtracking. Uh, like a dumb, dumb bum I am. I almost died. And so yeah, so this is where the door is. And there'll be another boss. I actually found this boss here is a pain. Not no, the boss itself is not a pain. Just the enemies. It's a pain in a bum bum. But yeah, this is the final armor shrine. So once you get into the boss area, I don't think you have to do it. But I recommend once again to grab the decree once you kill the boss. And there we go. Thank you guys for watching.